You having fun? Today I have a Huffy electric green machine and it's in trouble. It's got a couple of dead batteries so I replaced with my cobalt 24 volt battery. So here I have hooked it up to the controller and it still doesn't work. Press this button, it just click, I hear a relay click on the controller. That's the sound of relay, but it doesn't move the motor. So I guess the controller is also bad as well, which is rare, but we'll find out. So I think I'm gonna replace both the battery and the controller on this Huffy electric machine. So here's the bottom of the machine. In order to get access to the controller in here, you have to remove these screws. There are four screws. And then this panel is gonna come out but it still gets stuck with these two uh, brackets here what you gotta do is to unscrew this nut here and you can remove one of the bar just one bar is enough and then you can pull this plastic piece out of the way so here is the bottom of the cart and that's the fuse and before the power goes to the motor it goes through this fuse here and I'm using my meter to test the continuity of the fuse and is nothing so this fuse is blown so this is the easiest way to test the fuse that's continuous that's this continuous so this is dead and that's why when I press on the power button I hear the relay click but the power only goes up to the fuse and it's cut there's no power go to the motor so this is wire that goes to the motor but the power is cut right here so here is the original fuse it's 15 amp so I've got a replacement 15 amp fuse it's not exactly the same this one is for the car but it will fit perfectly in here perfectly just like that all right so I've hooked up my 24 volt battery and let's try and see if it works let's turn it on and it works so now that i know the problem is not the controller but the fuse it's time to install the cobalt 24 volt battery onto the machine so here is the top of the machine that's the motor these are the two original lead acid batteries for 24 volt system these two batteries are probably very discharged they are not dead yet I think I can still revive them but I don't want to use them anymore I want to use my cobalt 24 volt lithium ion battery because it's smaller and it's lighter these two are too heavy so here we have the power cable that goes to the motor and these are the original connector which I cut out and solder my XT60 connector so I can connect to my cobalt battery pack. Now let's turn it on and it works. So here's how I secure the battery in place. I got a bunch of cord here and it goes through the hole right there. Okay. And then down here, I mounted a small hook. That is a screw mount here. So I mounted a hook on that screw mount. And now I can stretch a bunch of cord and hook it up down here. So now the battery is secure in place, not gonna go anywhere. And then I'm just gonna put the top cover on. This side here, I'm just gonna leave it open so that I can have access to the battery. So here's what it looks like from the side and I can easily get into the battery and uh, I can replace it easily if needed. So I'm just gonna remove this bungee cord here. And just pull the battery out. That's it. Pull this out and put a new one in. That's it. 
Okay, go. What happened? Press that button. Doesn't go anymore. Hopefully the fuse is blown again. Check that out. 20 amp fuse. Blown on the first try. Alright. Here's a 40 amp fuse. Hopefully this will do. Go! 40 amp! Level two. Level two. So overall it was a success running the Cobalt 24 volt battery on this green machine. The motor got really hot and the battery drained down quickly. We only rode it for about 20 rounds and we only got one bar left on the 4 amp power battery. I think the main reason why the battery drains so fast is probably because there are many stops and goes. So we just spin around and the cart stop and then we have to start again from a standstill. And because it takes a lot of power to start from a standstill versus running continuously, it does take a toll on the battery and the motor. The fact that it blows the 20 amp fuse right on the first try shows how power hungry this cart is. The 40 amp fuse upgrade seems to get the job done. We didn't have any problem after replacing with the 40 amp fuse. I'm too fat, man. Let's go. There you go, you can spin on the grass. I'm thinking of putting some blades on the bottom so I, a, I get myself a free long mowing machine. What do you think? Free long mowing machine. There's one thing about this car is because it has a plastic wheels on the back, it's extremely noisy. So if you want to irritate your neighbors, just bring this cart out at 5 o'clock in the morning and take it for a spin. I can guarantee you the entire neighborhood is gonna wake up. And that's all for now. I'll see you next time.